Hey guys, we're starting this video off right away with my Starbucks. I got a strawberry refresher, no berries. That is my go-to Starbucks order. I love it. And we're starting by making a dragon fruit smoothie bowl and it's literally the best. But we're doing what I eat in a day. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly and you're not going to see me much, but I'm going to talk over and explain what I'm making for everything, all my meals of the day. It's a typical online school day, what I eat. So we're starting by making my smoothie bowl for breakfast. And I use some frozen dragon fruit pieces and those are from target i use a fresh banana and then i also have a couple pieces of strawberries i've been using mango recently like frozen mango rather than frozen strawberry because it tastes a lot better and then i also do a little bit of protein powder which is just vanilla pure protein i believe it's called with some almond milk and i blend and since i made this video we got a new blender we got the ninja blender which works so much better and like as you can see like I have to shake the blender to get it to like work right. Thankfully, we have a new blender now that works a lot better, but we've had this one for years, so it took forever. But this was like the perfect consistency and it looked so good. And this was, I think my first day when I made it, like I hadn't had it before that. So I tried it and it was so good. I was like surprised because I'd never had it before. And we poured it into this bowl. I'm just spreading it into the bowl and it looks so pretty because it's like bright pink. And then we're going to cut up a banana to put on top. And my bananas were still pretty ripe. So I had to like cut it open. And then I just sliced it up. And it's kind of satisfying to watch it like all get sliced up. And then I also like to cut up some strawberries. And I kind of cut up too many. Three strawberries was a lot. And you'll see when I like start to or like put everything on. But there was a lot of toppings. But it was still so good. And as you can see, I add some coconut. I love coconut on acai bowls, so I add a ton of it. Um, a little bit of chia seeds, and then I add some cacao nibs because they're just so good. And it looked so pretty. And then I add the sliced banana, and I like to put it all to one side. So I just throw that in, and then I put some strawberries on top. And then I didn't have like a ton of room, so I put more over on top of the coconut. And then I drizzled peanut butter. So this is probably the prettiest bowl I've ever made because i've never like made one this nice so look at how pretty that is and it was so good i ate the whole thing i love smoothie bowls i've been eating the one like every day and i've had like an obsession the last few weeks but snack time i had some milk duds before like my lunch time so for lunch i made this gnocchi like skillet kit so i was kind of amazed on how it like came because it was in like a tomato sauce packet and like butter and stuff i don't know i just wasn't expecting it when i opened the package so you start by melting the butter in the package all the direction on the back it's so easy to do it doesn't take too long i actually think i'm gonna have it for lunch today too and then you pour the gnocchi in and then you just like stir it around until it's like browned on all sides and then it's like cooked all the way through and it's so good the sauce is like a tomato parmesan sauce so it's literally delicious because i hate like two like sauces that are too tomato-y like if that makes any sense whatsoever i like when it's like cheesy so it was literally so good and then you just stir it around to heat it up warm it and coat all the gnocchi pieces I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but it was so good. And then I poured it all into a bowl. It was delicious. I added shredded Parmesan after it to make it prettier. And I just love cheese. So yeah, that's what the final product looked like. And it was so good. Like I literally can't get over how good it was. And it was so easy to do. I brought it over to the counter and I ate it. And I this was the first time trying it because I haven't had this like thing before. I liked it. Then for another snack, I had a Reese's egg and a Snickers during my art class at school. And then I had some goldfish and Gatorade and then Doritos, like kind of after school when I was doing homework. So I kind of filled up on snacks, which is kind of typical for some days to do after school. So I wasn't super, super hungry for dinner. So later on that night, kind of late, I ended up having some rice cakes with like cucumbers and stuff. So I'm starting by peeling and then cutting up the cucumbers so i'm going to use this on top of the rice cakes so i'm taking some two rice cakes that are just lightly salted that's like the kind they are and then i'm taking veggie dip you're supposed to use cream cheese but i didn't have any cream cheese when i was doing this i tried it after with cream cheese and it was good too but i used a veggie dip that you would dip like carrots into so i put that onto the rice cakes first and then i ended up taking the sliced cucumbers and then i just put those in like a circle pattern onto the rice cake so they all fit so i did about five on each and then i ended up cutting up two little carrots so i took those and just kind of like cut them into pieces i guess and then i put those all around the rice cakes as well like in the mostly in the spots that the cucumber wasn't so more towards the centers 
it actually looked really good and it also tasted pretty good and I actually never had this before so I definitely enjoyed it but I do a taste test too but this is all for today's video I hope you guys liked it I don't eat super healthy all days of the week but I do try my best so I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys